everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye, and this is my world. Today's topic is don't be afraid to leave a bad situation. Don't be afraid to leave a bad situation. Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, to get us started, I did pull a short video. And we have a letter. So let's watch this video. We're going to read the letter and talk about this issue. Don't be afraid to leave a bad situation. Here we go. How to leave a situation when you really want a committed relationship. And I cannot stress how important it is to do this. Because let's face it, you're just hurting yourself and the other person the longer you allow yourself to stay in a situation, a circumstance you don't really want, when you really want something that's more committed and more, you know, invested. So if you're going to effectively remove yourself from a situation, you're going to start with an open, honest conversation with the other person. So we have two main goals. One, stating clearly what you actually want to the other person as honest and open and as vulnerable as you can. And two, asking questions to get clear on where they're at with things, if they agree with what you want, and if you guys are on the same page. And the next thing you have to do is make sure you remind yourself that it's okay to speak up for what you actually want. Where you tell the other person, I actually do like you a lot. I want to be more than just friends with benefits. I want to actually have a title next to you. I actually want to identify in public as a couple. I actually want to invest into you and build a future with you. You have to remind yourself that that is okay to say those things because I get it. You stand to risk it all by doing that and possibly face rejection by this person. And that might mean losing access to all this value that you love having from them in your life. And as much of a scary idea I know that can be, you have to remind yourself that so is the idea of not living the life you want, not being able to be proud of the relationship circumstance you're in. Always remember that this is more than just you speaking up for what you want, but speaking up for your value, speaking up for your sense of self-worth, speaking up for your standards that you deserve to have met given the value you bring. Being heard and having your needs met the way we all deserve. Now get off the fence and go have that combo. Okay, let's dive into this letter, see what she says. She entitled her letter, What is Wrong with Him? I would like to ask a question about a man I'm dating. I have been with this man for two years. And at the beginning, he was very infatuated with me but it faded away and he has been very secretive about his phone. I was tired of his lies. He has been excluding me from his life, putting more and more distance between us. Since he moved into a house I found for him to buy for us, he bought it for himself and did not want me to move in since the place where he lives has many other potential women of interest. Well, you know what? <laughs> it looks like you ran up on a user, if you ask me. He looks like he seems like a user already. Yet he does not want to let me go either. Yeah, because he still wants to get sex. As long as you supply him with sex, why let that go? Okay. He is very manipulative and narcissistic. I was tired of his selfishness and lies. So when I was in his place a few months ago, I screamed at him when he said, I don't want you to see my phone. Well, you know, he's got a lot of his personal business in his phone that you don't need to know about. Okay. And women. Just a side note here. Don't always assume that it's a woman or women that they're interested in these days. It could be men. He could have a phone full of dick pics, all you know. Okay, so don't always assume it's another woman. Okay. I was really fed up with his behavior. I was enraged. He got really scared. He is 39 years old. He started crawling on the floor, took the car keys, and went and sat in his car. He was rocking back and forth. Then he knocked on a neighbor's door like a kid and said, 
Please, I'm afraid of her. Please help me. Well, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on with this man? He's 39 years old. It sounds like he may have some mental disabilities. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, he's got something else going on. They thought something is wrong with him and asked if he took his medication. I said, no, he does not take medication. I stayed with him to monitor him. He locked the door upstairs and slept on the floor. I was shocked. This same man had tried to commit suicide a year ago because he has severe control issues and I had left him for bad treatment of me. You need to leave him, period, and not come back. He sounds like he really has some mental problems here. You don't need to be with a person with some mental issues because you don't know when they can snap. You don't know what they're thinking. They're not rational, and you cannot be rational with them. Okay. I think it was a manipulation tactic. I don't know about that. For him to uh, go in the car and be rocking back and forth, maybe he did that to keep from hurting you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to hold back his temper, and that's why he just left and got in the car. I have no idea. But I don't think it's a manipulation tactic. I really don't. Ever since... He's been trying to make me accept the fact that it's my fault he did it. We were in a hotel a few months ago. We went for a weekend getaway. He changed totally. His mood dropped. He became pale and said, I have to accept what happened. It's my fault. He is talking about the suicide attempt. That was a year ago. He does not accept that he has a problem and to project it onto me. I think he is a narcissist, but something else is off with him. Other than you thinking he's a narcissist, he's got some mental problems. Okay? Mental illness. You don't need to be around that. It's very draining to you. It keeps you in a low vibration. I have to say that his mother and he have a very incestual relationship. This man had trauma when he was seven years old. He saw his father jump from a balcony. He never went to a psychologist for it. I asked his mother. She said, what for? (laughs) Before even meeting me, the mother was already jealous of me. If she is having any kind of intimate contact with her son, well, yeah, she probably is jealous of you. I feel like I'm the mistress and and her the wife. She is very manipulative. Whenever he is with me, she calls and lies. I once said, Is your mother in love with you or what? She acts like she does. He chuckled and said, yeah. I think it's very perverted, his answer. He should have been repulsed by what I said. Well, not necessarily. Because if he and his mother are having some sort of incest relationship, People in these situations, somehow they think it's normal. The mother was probably uh, molested by a family member when she was young. If this is true, and if she molested her son when he was young and it's still going on, they think it's normal. It's a normal thing. It's a lot of people in the world who are doing these sort of things, and they think that it's, it's life. It's not. It's evil. It's pure evil. I tried to break up with him because I feel something is off with this family. But he would not leave me alone. 
You, <laughs> you are waiting for him to leave you alone? When you want to leave, if you want to leave, leave. Don't be afraid to leave. You say here, I am afraid to leave him because I don't know. He may try to do emotional blackmail on me, but at the same time, I am very stressed and depressed because he just mistreats me. I feel guilty to leave him. Why? Why would you feel guilty in leaving someone who you confess mistreats you? And then if you have these notions about him and his mother. Why would you want to be with him? Now, let me see. Did you say that you, oh, you've been with the man, but you're not married to him. Leave. Leave. Why would you be in a mess like that? You understand that you have a notion that he and his mother has something going on? Do you realize that if you married the man, if he has been molested by his mother, he probably would molest any children that you have with him. You don't want to go down that route. Leave him now. Okay, why continue? And why have you continued? For two years. There's no reason for you to be afraid to, to leave him. If you leave him, leave him and block him and he can't uh, communicate with you. If it's over the phone. Now, if he lives next door, that's a different thing. But I doubt it. Okay. Leave and block him and don't be afraid. You got to love yourself more. See, this is the issue. It's not him. It's you. You need to love yourself. Respect yourself. Honor yourself. Know your worth. Know your value. Know that you are a prize to him. Okay? And he's not worth it from what you said in the letter. He's not worth you. He's not worth your attention. Let him go. Because really, think about it. You can't change him. And you can't change his mother. She's always going to be in that business of you and him. Okay, that's that's not going to change. And he's not trying to change it. Okay. You have free will. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Guard yourself. And if you are in a situation that is not good for you, it is not improving your life. You don't see a future with this relationship. Then it's time to go. It's time to pack up and leave. And don't look back. Don't When you leave, let that be it. Don't look back and think, well, maybe I left too soon. Maybe I jumped to conclusions. Maybe I should stay. No. 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 When you know your worth, you know when it's time to go. And never look back. I hope that the message today help someone. And I really hope that you understand it. Now, those of you who may have a question that you'd like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And if you're looking for today's affirmation, which is very important, the link is also in the description. And don't forget these caps now. They are available in my online store and you will find a link in the description. I want to thank you all for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.